Robert May worked for the Montgomery Wards Corporation in the 1930s, 40s, and early 50s. His job was marketing, and he was very good at it. A Christmas character that resulted in a popular holiday song and subsequent story is attributed to May, who was simply working to create a campaign to get customers in the door. The character? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. The story had actually been written four years before, in 1935, when May told stories about the reindeer to his young daughter. May's wife died with cancer, and he was left alone to care for his young daughter. Rudolph would be key to making that happen. Although May's character was originally owned by Wards, the company passed on the copyright to May in 1946, after 3.6 million booklets featuring the reindeer had been distributed to Wards customers. The song we know and love would be written by Johnny Marks. The song wouldn't become popular until 10 years after May introduced Rudolph to Montgomery Wards customers. Some have wondered why Gene Autry was the voice that made Rudolph famous. Simply put, many other performers, including Dinah Shore, Bing Crosby, and Perry Como were asked and all declined. They believed that it tampered with a powerful tradition of Santa. The truth is, Autry didn't like the song and even refused to consider it until his wife practically begged him to record it. Even then, he would only agree to one take in the studio, spending less than 10 minutes on the recording and immediately placing it as a B-side on one of his other Christmas singles. But that B-side song is now second only to Bing Crosby's White Christmas in holiday popularity. Remarried, May was able to license a variety of products that resulted in toys and animation, most famous of which is a series of short films produced by Rankin and Bass. Oh, and if you're curious as to whether May always had Rudolph in mind as the name for the reindeer, the answer is no. He considered Rolo and Reginald, but neither ultimately fit the red-nosed reindeer that seemed to have so much in common with Hans Christian Andersen's Ugly Duckling. Both underdogs, both bullied, both had a purpose far greater than any expected. It seems this is a character we can all relate to.